In this video I'm going to show you how to find the correlation coefficient r using a sharp EL531x calculator. Now specifically we're finding the Pearson's r and the formula for calculating Pearson's r or rather one of the definitions is this large formula here. So n is the number in your sample that's an x point subtracted from the mean of the x values over the standard deviation of the x values and then the same thing for y so a y value minus the average of the y values divided by the standard deviation in the y values and you could calculate each of these individually using the sharp calculator but it's a lot more efficient just to do the whole calculation at once so just to review very briefly the theory so you can understand what the answers mean. Uh, if you've got a line sloping down the way and the line goes through every point, your value of r is going to be minus 1. If you've got a line going up the way with every single point on the line, you're going to get r equal to 1. If you've got uh, a rough line that is a good representation of the data, so it is showing a correlation, then you're going to get a value of r that's greater than 0 and less than 1, or in other words, it's going to be somewhere between 0 and 1. Maybe this line might be a half or something around that. If you've just got completely random data, then clearly there's not going to be a correlation. So you're going to get an r of 0, which means it's not correlated. So let's look at doing this calculation on the calculator, and it's not difficult. So here's the calculator. So we're going to find r, so Pearson's r, for this set of data. So we've got 1, 2, 3 on the x, and 2, 4, and 6 on the y. Clearly this is just the line y equals 2x, because you've got x is 1, y is double that, so 2, you've got four and six, uh, 2 and 4, and 3 and 6. You see the y equals 2x. And obviously, this is going to be a straight line, and the straight lines go tending up the way, so we're going to get r equals to 1. That's fairly simple. So, let's go through the steps to do this in the calculator. The first step is to change the mode. So we do this just by pressing, uh, it's already in stats. So, to get into the stat mode, we're pressing mode, then 1. And then we'll press 1 again for the line function. So mode 1, 1 gets this in the correct mode. And when you, if you want to get out of this, you just press mode and 0. And that takes you back to the normal mode. So now let's enter the data. So for example, we'd press 1. And then we need to get a comma. So we're pressing second function, then the STO button, which has got the comma on it. Then 2 goes after the comma and m plus to save it. So we'll just do that. So 1 second function STO, see that gives us a comma there. Then 2, now we'll press m plus. The data set now consists of one uh, entry. Let's do the next entry. So we've got 2 and then 4. We're doing m plus. So now two things in the data set. This keeps track of how many points you put in and it's useful to make sure you're doing it right. And the last point is 3, second function STO, to get a comma, 6, and then plus to save. So let's calculate the value of R. So we're just pressing the alpha, which lets us access all these um, statistical functions that are in green. And if we look at the divide button, it's got R above it. So we'll press that, we get R up here, and then just press equals, and it calculates the R. Usually it flashes up with calculating or something like that. And that gives us R equals 1, as expected. So hopefully that was quite simple, and thank you for watching.